and welcome to Granny Horse Training. I'm here with Lacey, my name's Ruth, and we're working on the ground driving, but we're also going to introduce a new piece of tack with clicker training. This is the crupper, the evil crupper, which goes under their tail. And I've been doing a lot of work with Lacey on lifting her tail more, just on a regular basis when I'm grooming her in the morning and uh, giving her clicks and treats for that. So I'm going to start with lifting her tail again. Tail. Waiting for her to relax. Do this a couple times. She's seeing something in the distance there. I got a sheep out in the field she's looking at. Tail. And I grab it pretty firmly. She's really pretty tight. Tail. Relax. I'm trying to position myself so I don't get kicked. I could probably get a little further up, but I certainly don't want to push her to that point. I want to try to get her to where I feel her really relax the tail. Tail. Good. She's getting very relaxed now. Now what I'm going to do is just try to... Now... Th some of the cruppers that come with a harness will have a buckle on one side so you can put the whole harness on and then bring the crupper around. This is a crupper that came with a saddle to use with a saddle. So it just loops around and you got to thread the tail through it. So tail. And we'll get her used to just thread the tail through it. A feeling of that. Tail. I didn't even bring it all the way up. I'm kind of videoing her with her face forward so that when I watch it later, I can see how she's reacting with that. Um, tail. Because when they start feeling something under their tail that they can't get rid of, they'll kind of freak out on that. So I'm just going to let her feel that. Tail. I was actually letting the crupper touch the tailbone. Another thing to introduce about these cruppers, you're being good, and didn't I click you and I didn't give you a treat, did I? Is if you'll notice, there's stitching on these, and there's a certain way to put them on, all right? It's actually the, you want to make sure the smooth side is under the tail. So I don't know if I really ever used it in the correct manner or not. I don't know. It kind of looks like it's been this way. Stitching this side, stitching that side. It's all pretty smooth. It's all been rolled edges. Everything feels pretty smooth no matter what side it's on. So anyhow, let's turn around and we'll show you from the hind end what I'm doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get over a little bit back. Hind quarters over and back a little. Okay, you're ground tied right there. There's a nice big treat for you. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to do the tail again. Tail. You kind of got it raised up a little bit. Relax. And if you've got a very thick tail, these will be problematic. Tail. So we're doing it really slow, and I wouldn't even have her wear this today. All I'm doing is tail. Start messing with your tail. Tail. Letting her feel that there's this thing around her tail. And I might even break this. You know, this is actually a really hard thing for, I mean, I thought since Sugar Babe was an old horse that she probably had this done to her before. And I put a crupper on her and I almost lost my finger because she freaked out so bad. I just like mindlessly thought, oh, I got an old, old broke horse and she ain't an old broke horse. Every horse should learn this, really. Good girl. And I feel her relaxing. She gets clicked and treat. Okay. 
돼요. 아이 hate these kind of cruppers. The ones that come with a harness are much better. It's not so hard to get the tail hairs tail. Now she's starting to get up to the area under the tail where there's no hair so she can start to actually feel that. So you see how we're breaking it down into small approximations of introducing this because we do not want to push her over threshold. We don't want to wait till she kicks, runs off or something. We want to keep rewarding her for every new sensation that she starts feeling from this. So tail, we're doing the tail girl. Tail. And the goal is to really not have any reaction at all. By the time I actually get it up under her tail there, we don't really want to have any reaction at all. Tail. And mind you, I've been working on, now she's pretty tight. She's really, relax. Because when she clamps down her tail, she's going to feel this. And she's kind of got a low set tail, so she's really going to feel it. And she's going to feel it all in around here. And that's going to make her a little nervous about that. Tail. I'll just let her relax. You're doing very good, Lacey. I actually had a little piece of leather to take it so I could connect this up to the sure single, but somewhere it fell off the cart when I was rolling out here. I don't have it now, so. Just as well, keeps me from going too far. This should be done over a couple of lessons, I would say at least. Tail, doing your tail, baby. So now she's really starting to get a feel on, on the underside of her tail now. And you just have to go with your individual horse tail. I'm getting more relaxed because she knows if I play with the tail, she's going to get a treat. Tail. And it's very hard to get all these hairs where they're supposed to be. And you don't want to get your hand caught in this loop either. I mean, tail. And I let her tail start resting down on it. I'm getting a little bit of sugar baby's down there now. She can see her tail. Sure you get all your hairs out from underneath. Tail. You're starting to feel it there. Okay. You're doing very good. And I think when you're horse training, you should stay away from having too many goals. Tail. Make sure she's really got to be good about having you put your fingers all around the tail and stuff because you've got to be able to smooth these hairs and get them out from under the leather of the crupper because otherwise she'll get sore. She's doing quite good though. What a good girl. Being good. Tail. See why they bob draft horses' tails. <sighs> the harness horses tail. Relax now. Tail. Tail. 
actually not relaxing. And it's good if you take a deep breath too. That can help them relax. Tail. I didn't let her tail down, but I got it right up under there. Tail. So I do the tail again. Now she's tolerating this pretty good. That's why I'm going forward, going further, further than I thought I'd really get. Tail, relax. She's hard to put this on. She's got a very low set tail. Tail, you're all right. Now, I know some people don't agree with those multiple clicks, but every once in a while I do that. When I'm in a position that I'm doing a thing where it actually takes some time and I need to let her know that she's doing the right thing, I'll do that. It's a little more of a real keep going signal than the good girl that I give her when I'm working with her. Tail. So some people don't agree with the multiple clicks. But they have a purpose and a reason for certain things you do. And I found them very, very helpful. Some people don't agree, though. But, oh, well. We'll see whose training is effective. Tail. Relax. Tail, you're doing good. And I remove it. Okay, well, I think that's as far as I'm going to go today because I'm really, I'm pushing her to the limit. You know, I can feel with her tenseness and everything about it that we did it without any reaction. And that's a good thing. You need a drink again? She's got her drinky spot here. So we'll let her take a drink. And thanks for watching. This is Granny Horse Training introducing the crupper and if you have a horse that runs downhill like she runs downhill a little bit in her confirmation you might going to want to use a crupper with your saddle at some time so if you train any young horse with a confirmation like that you better spend a little time and teach it a crupper also um, it'd be a good idea because get them while they're young um, thanks for watching bye now <laughs>